The, the van's all right. You'll have to come back at three o'clock. We're fully booked. Right, long awaited the van tour. I'll start with outside because it's raining, then we'll head in and get dry. Uh, so, in its entirety, Apollo is a Volkswagen transport. <laughs> No, it's not. Are you, are you still going? Is a, a Apollo is a Ford Transit Jumbo with a Volkswagen T25 stuck on the roof. Um, we've covered him in Raptor paint and called him Apollo for obvious reasons because he looks like the Hubble Space Station. Standard wheels, which we've refurbished and put um, all-terrain tyres on. The old step, I was too tight to go for the electric one and I'm far too young and agile not to be able to bend down there just yet. Uh, up onto the roof we have 300 watts of solar power, um, three 100 watt panels. I would have liked more but obviously this roof is a bit odd shaped so that's all I can get up there um, along with some other things that I'll show you in the bedroom in the roof on the way in. Um, we decided to go for the old school rubber trim windows all the way around, one for the side loading door, one for the kitchen, one in the far side, just so we could match up with the rubber trim windows that were already in the T25 roof. This is the exhaust uh, for our diesel hob that you'll see when we go inside. Spare wheel carrier on the back door, reversing cameras. Uh, we do have uh, a four bike carrier that can go on the back of this uh, to carry all of our mountain bikes which makes this an absolutely massive rig hence the reversing cameras and I think uh, apart from the extractor fans that we've got we've got one here for the bathroom and then two back on this side this one is for our drying room for drying our boots and clothes and this one is for the kitchen we plan on having an awning can't get older what the one that we want so that is uh, it's in the pipeline along with a few other bits so moving to the inside um, by swapping out the double seat and putting in he's got a door open and everything he's <laughs> rallying down the road he's shot sure. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen my father has left the building Anyway, moving to the inside, by removing the double seat uh, and replacing it with a single and putting them both on swivel bases, we've made this spacious living area. Uh, these seats do come all the way forward to the table should you need so, but you can get right back uh, for a nice sort of chill space. Um, the table was completely made from some bits of old tat that we had lying about, uh, just because we're having a custom made table, uh, a river table made to go in here. Uh, but we need a table now, so we made this out of some old shop sign that we had lying about and a bit of tea trim uh, and it does the job. The rock and roll bed turns into our bed come night time. Uh, I'll show you that down in a second. Put yourself inside, come inside, get out of the way. Thanks. And the map, there's the map above your head. Uh, anyone that's seen our other channel, Steamons on So, uh, we just put a pin in that every time we stop somewhere. Spin around, let's see the kitchen. So, the kitchen, all the shaker doors have been hand, lovingly handcrafted and painted by uh, three generations of Stearmans. Um, each one we have just form inserts, so nothing rattles about in there. And same again with the drawers, uh, we've made cutlery inserts in there. Not entirely sure on the hygiene level of that, but it does the job for now and it's working really well. Even spare fuses, scissors, um, more cutlery in there. Uh, the Belfast sink is actually a lightweight replica. Uh, it's only 8mm thick all the way around and much lighter than an actual Belfast, but gives you all the advantages of the aesthetics of a Belfast without the disadvantages of putting you over your weight limit. Uh, the hob that I mentioned outside actually runs on diesel. This is a Wallace uh, diesel hob, uh, so we don't have to have any gas in this van because we have this, the hot water and the heating all running on diesel. Uh, da, da, da. 
fridge uh, went with a 50 litre compressor fridge and as soon as I opened it I took one look at it and thought no way is that big enough for food and beer it's you see how you've got a couple of piddly bottles of beer in there so we went out bought myself a beer fridge as well so again this is a 30 litre uh, draw compressor fridge both coming off the back there's no problem whatsoever um kitchen storage i mean it's the usual uh, just cupboard space we have a night heater in this cupboard this one is predominantly for uh, heating our hot water using a bubble van system um we also have a night heat heater under this cupboard which is predominantly for heating the cab anything else on the kitchen what have i missed i'll do the dog crates while i'm here what? i'll do it yeah so these are our dog crates we've got one for our frenchie uh, it's just a small one this is a small dog uh, and then this this larger one for our akita which goes all the way back so he's got the whole back end of the van there to to get in We've both got plenty of room bathroom so i have no idea how we're going to do this uh, but basically Thetford C200 electric flush toilet with matching shower tray um, the Thetford drop down sink and then shower head and the bathroom cabinet awkwardly positioned nearly on the floor just because it wouldn't possibly fit anywhere else extractor fan and light beautiful all finished off a nice tambour. Uh, don't follow a Kyle. Oh, Electrics, I can't show you because uh, you'd have to lay on the floor and try and peek for a little gap. But everything is housed underneath this seat. We have two uh, 180 amp hour AGM deep cycle batteries, uh, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, um, a German named thing. That I can't say the name of which basically when the shore power comes in it automatically diverts it away from the inverter and powers our sockets automatically from shore power um, I might put links in the description I might forget it's a lottery ask ask yeah ask a question good thinking Batman uh, oh we didn't show the little oh, lift up sinky jobby um, these are for the extractor fans and the water pressure uh, diesel night heater switch the various switches and sockets and USBs and things around the van so we can charge up and uh, from all angles and then there's upstairs I could climb up I suppose I'd be entertaining I'll take my shoes off crap. Yeah, crap. right we do need a ladder building for this um, but this was going to be our bedroom and after spending one night in it, it's now the kids' bedroom. Um, but I can get up very elegantly, as you'll see. Do the web. <laughs> I'm trying to do the caterpillar, it's less energetic. So yeah. Once you're up here, it's not actually that bad, you can almost sit up uh, but in the depth of night it's a bit dark and a little bit claustrophobic but we do have um so these are two extractor fans and you can have light or, or uh, uh we've rewired them so one sucks and the other one blows Whee. uh so that means you can have the um the air circulating through the room and also this once this is fully opened you get plenty of air in there and it's got a fly in it, and it's got a blackout blind. Uh, the future plan, I don't even know if you can see me because all the quilts are in the way. Uh, there is about 300 mil of space beyond the mattress here. Uh, so there's going to be some sort of um, bed end cabinet with charging points uh, for the kids and somewhere they can clip their iPad if they want to maybe watch a movie when they get in bed. Uh, but yeah, I'm coming out Kyle. No, I'm not. Hi. I'm coming out. Uh, yeah, I want to show them the boots. Oh, sorry. <laughs>
but Tindy's shown you them. Basically, the boots are just propped up there, but we're going to be putting some sort of a, a wall. That's my job for this afternoon to stop them falling on the kids' heads while they're driving, while I'm driving. This is Dave. Dave pays three pound a week, and he gets to stay in here. Uh, we take him up and around the country. Going? Yep. So for us to go to bed at night, um, that was a good start. Uh, these table legs uh, lock into position. Right, a spin like that, and another spin like that. Much better than just the pushing ones. Bit of rubbish. Much better than just the pushing ones they had uh, in the previous van. Much more secure and solid. And once that's laid down like that, and that all the way back. Cheers. Headrests. We added headrests in because our kids were both sat taller than that and I just had visions of them snapping the necks. So these just lock into here. We're driving a bit safer. See how good the lock in. Just remember it's raining, man. Oh, yeah. I'll just push it on, mate. I've just got to make the bed. Uh, and then, I'm going to lever again, let me look the end of the right bit. When that goes there, obviously they push into there. This is like sleeping on a slab of concrete. Uh, so we've, for now, we went out and bought um, just a double quilt to put underneath us. Uh, and it did as well as out on our last trip, but we're going to try and find some sort of mattress topper that will fold up really small. Because although we've got a lot of cupboards, we've ran out of cupboard space very quickly. So this trim, uh, you will see it in one of the previous videos, came as a really very pale pine and we needed it to match up, you know, look something like the worktop. So we ended up using two different types of fence stain uh, and just mixing them and mixing them and mixing them until we got just the right colour. Painted it on two clear coats of varnish and it looks mint. Welcome to my back doors. <laughs> So, like I said, the Akita's got the nice big bed at the bottom. Uh, he also gets to share his bed uh, with the cassette door, so we can empty that. Um, then the little Frenchy one, and this is our drying room, believe it or not. At the minute, it's full of junk. We need a better place for the chairs, um, leveling blocks, spare cassette in case we're going off grid for a length of time. Um, but the night heater does vent into here uh, if we switch it over so we can dry clothes but at the minute we don't because it's full of stuff uh, coat hooks behind the coat hooks is all our plumbing uh, this is obviously running the shower and the sink in the bathroom and also the diesel tank this has got three spurs off it one to run the hot water night heater one to run the <coughs> Alright mate, right. one to run the cab night heater and the other one to run the hob. And I think that's that in it. Is that a wrap? Yeah. That's a wrap. So I'm gonna post this on both our Steamons on that. I'm gonna post this on both of our Steamons on Tour channel and Simply Camper Conversions channel. So if you're watching on Steamons on Tour, please don't forget to subscribe to Simply Camper Van Conversions. There'll be a link in the description. If you're watching on Simply Camper Van Conversions, please don't forget to subscribe to Steamons on Tour. There will also be a link in the description. Um, yeah, we're going to Scotland tomorrow. What day is it? Saturday. Sunday. Saturday. I have got my phone to chat. Well, we're going to Scotland on Monday. Anyway. Uh, there'll be a, there's a few more bits that we want to get done, a few more little snaggy things, but it's ready. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. See you in the next one.